This time we have a Procore networking switch, which is the J9028A, a 24 port gigabit switch. Comes with two SFB ports, sadly they're not 10 gigabit, but you can put in fiber if you want to. The only problem with this thing is that it's actually quite loud. And I will demonstrate in a moment how loud it is. And we're going to change the fan to a Noctua fan. The NF-A420. And this should take down the amount of noise this thing makes by quite a bit, since I want to run this thing in my living room and I want it to be quiet. So let's see how much noise this thing currently makes. We have the one 40 millimeter fan here. And that's the only moving part in this thing. So first. Since we want to know roughly how well we do after the modification, I'm going to place a post-it here. See the correct amount of distance between measuring and the fan itself. And we have a phone. And as we can hear, it's not exactly loud, but it's very annoying. It's not like a slow hum and like it's it's noticeable enough that you don't really want to have this in your living room so let's get and change the fan and then test it again the case has three screws for the top part one here, one here, and one on the other end. And that's the wrong size bit. And here we can see our tiny, tiny little annoying fan. We'll just go ahead and remove it. There are two screws here and here. The fan also comes with a low noise adapter, which we may want to try. But here's the fan itself. Always check the flow direction, which you can see here. Make sure that you're putting the thing the correct way around. So since we want to push air in, we want to see the arrow be pointed inside. As we can see, the previous screws won't do it without adapters, that is. So we're going to have to remove these. Let's see if we can use the screws provided by Nocto. And those are not going to fit. There's a slight difference in size which means that we're going to have to use adapters. There is also the possibility of using these, but I'm not entirely sure that these will work very well with our system since this thing needs to be cleared. So I'm going to measure these and make some adapters. Here is what I came up with. 
is roughly the smallest thing that my 3D printer can make because the next ones would, wouldn't even slice correctly. Those were press fit into the fan using a chopstick. So I just essentially whittled down it a little bit, put the thing into one of these like so. And then use this end of the chopstick to just press it in. So there's no glue, just friction. These things sadly just spin around, so I'm going to have to add, add a little bit of super glue to both of them, and then they'll hopefully stay put. Turns out that didn't work either, and we lost the insert from this one, and it was entirely destroyed by the forces affecting it while screwing. And here is our solution. We're going to simply glue the screws in place. We're going to put some glue on this part here, and then we're going to place this thing in. We're going to screw the first one in, into the molten glue, and then we're going to do the second one. And that should work, probably. So we need to put some stuff here. Then place the thing inside, place the screw in. Now we simply need to wait for it to dry and the thing is still entirely removable. Now we'll just do the same for the upper part. And we'll just leave this for roughly 15 minutes for it to get its full strength. Now that the glue has dried, we, I've noticed a little thing, which is that this actually moves a tiny bit. So we may want to glue it down by putting a tiny drop here. That should reduce the vibration amount. But whether that's an actual issue, we'll actually connect this thing. And we'll see what the difference is. And after that, if it's an actual issue, then I'll put the thing down. But I actually doubt that it will be one. Just put that there. Now we'll do the same thing again that we did last time. This is post it. And we'll place the testing equipment the same way. Take that away. And we'll turn the thing on. As we can hear, it definitely makes sound but it's nowhere near the one that we had last time. And now we'll take this apart again and then we'll change in the low noise adapter and let's see what happens. With the low noise adapter, it can be barely heard from the distance this camera is to the switch. 
and we can see that I can easily overpower it by merely speaking. And if I put my hand here, I can still clearly feel that there's a bunch of air coming out. So this should be enough. With this, I can place this in my new rack cabinet, which is in. So I was just about to think that this was actually done, but then I got the thinking and decided to use my brain cells and decided that this is unacceptable, that this thing moves around like this. So I started up CAD and I came up with a couple of test pieces, which didn't fit. But I then finally got around making this thing. This is an adapter which will sit flush with the original hole here and which will hold the fan here so that it doesn't move around like this. So we're going to remove the screws, take this thing out and then place this in. Now this is friction fit and if you use this same thing you may need to ream these holes a little bit to get it to fit to these tiny little pegs here. These should fit fine, but they may have, they may be tight, they may not. I'll include all the design files so that you can play around with those. There we go, it's in. You just need to be careful of this capacitor because you might knock it loose if you're not careful. Now this thing fits in there. Just make sure that you're putting it the right way around so that the exhaust is pointing at the heat sinks. And just press it in. There we go. This is what I should have done from the beginning. But now we need to put the lid on. These screws are no longer necessary. There we go, we're all done. Based on my testing, the uh, noise was pretty much the same as with the, as with just the, the screws. There seemed to be essentially no difference. But this is now done, this is now quiet, and I can have this in my living room. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.